Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. So for today's video I'm actually going to be doing a really random but quite big homeware haul from loads of different shops. Is that... I don't know why I felt like I said the wrong thing then. But first I'm just going to enjoy a nice coffee and <laughs> talk a little bit about some of the house plans and what we've kind of got going on over the next few weeks. Mm. You probably won't be able to hear that Stormy is upstairs, she's our new puppy if you haven't seen my previous video or follow me on Instagram. And she is crying her eyes out. So just trying to kind of teach her about being on her own and yeah, so if I keep seeming to change positions slightly it's because I'm rewarding her for being quiet and being calm on her own. She needs to learn to enjoy her own company and be an independent woman. Who agrees? Just to preface this homeware haul, this is kind of going back on what I'm saying right now, the homeware haul, but I am kind of in a place where I really want to simplify our interiors. As much as I love kind of clutter and objects and all of that kind of stuff, I really want everything to feel quite simple and stripped back and just be more timeless I'd say and practical and functional so kind of like the background here I really just want to strip it back and have it very simple this stuff over there is all very practical I use that every day when I'm cooking making coffees all of that stuff but the chopping boards leaning on the wall I don't use I should just have one there the utensil jar I use that's good the copper Thing that, like just kind of make it so that I'm using things or if it's not something that's being used it's like very simple and beautiful and something I really like if that makes sense I know that kind of defeats the point of doing a homeware haul but I just want everywhere to feel a bit more curated so that's what I'm working on and hopefully you'll be able to see that in some of the projects that we're working on. Um, you probably would have already seen our kitchen ceiling which is that side, Not there's a beam in the middle so it's the other side of the beam. Um, I just wanted to keep this side of the stonework being the feature and not have that brickwork clashing with the oak ceiling. Um, we've had a shelf added over there which you can slightly see here. But again, I just want to keep that really simple with lots of white crockery on to kind of blend into the walls in here. Just kind of going for more of that like country Scandi feel, quite simple, um, which brings me on to my first brand, which is Zara Home. So let me show you the bits that I got. Okay, so most of these pieces I haven't actually even unboxed yet. So this is a very honest reaction. Okay, this looks really nice. And this one is actually a present for Mikey. I'm sure you're kind of guessing what it is. But it is a linen photo album. So we're getting a new coffee table for our living room. And I thought it would be really nice, again, kind of going with that minimal architectural digest vibe. <laughs> I just want to have some stacks of really nice books, maybe like a bowl on one, a candle, just really simple and clean. And I thought this would be really nice to do for Mikey for a birthday present to put photographs from our wedding in because we don't have a wedding album yet. We haven't had them made, so I thought it'd be really nice to do one myself. Um, so, oh, that's fine. So the book is obviously like a linen, it opens halfway and it's kind of like a box, so really sturdy. Now Ziggy's barking. So in the box there are these sheets which have small indents on for you to attach photographs. So I don't know if you can kind of see there, I mean that might be really hard to see, but there is I think 10 sheets in the box or maybe more than that and some of them are black as well which is really nice so different colours and it means that you can basically just attach your favourite photos and it's probably something that we won't really use but if someone's over and asks to see some wedding photos they can have a look through there and I might actually look at having those sheets kind of laminated but I just thought that had like a really luxury feel to it and it was in the sale so can't go wrong, can you? But I will link anything that's still available in the description box below. 
Next thing, again from Zara Home. This, I think, was like a few pounds. Um, and it's just a really, really simple, not sure how well you can see that again, but really simple kitchen roll holder. Um, it's in, I don't know what colour you would actually call this. It's like, it's definitely not chrome, not nickel. Who knows, it's like a dark grey colour and it's got a really... Sorry, Stormy is crying. Um, it's got a really nice kind of like twirled metal feature which I thought was really nice and just really simple to be honest. Again, embracing simple choices at the moment. I've actually waited like two weeks to film this haul because I've been so busy. So these have all just been sat in a massive basket upstairs waiting for me to get them out. So after I finish recording this haul, I'm gonna have a big kind of sort out of this space and get it all nice and organized and decluttered. <laughs> okay, another one from Zara Home. And this again is a gift for Mikey's birthday. And it's another photo album. <laughs> so this is actually a more traditional album. Again, I think this was like a few pounds. It's linen and it's just like a scrapbook style album that you can put smaller photographs. Um, they're all kind of different sizes, so I think you could probably choose if you wanted a big one or a small one. Um, and again, alternates between black and white. And actually, that can kind of show you how I think that looks really nice. Imagine with a nice kind of coffee table book in the middle um, and then having the book stacked. Just really simple, nice texture and to add some depth to the living area. I think it's also a really nice talking point when you have guests over just to have these kind of big books that talk about your interests, your life, photo albums, just so people can kind of pick them up and flick through. Um, which again, is something I want to make our house more like, more like, don't know what I'm trying to say, but mm, yeah, I just want to make our house more livable, enjoyable and feel like us. <laughs> Another piece from Zara Home. This was supposed to be £22.99, I think it was about £12 in the sale, and I'm planning on using this for styling the bookcases in the living room, which you probably will have already seen. It's a really rustic bowl thing. It's probably about 25 centimetres in size, but yeah, it's got a really nice texture to it, and for the price, I thought it looked really hand handcrafted. Handcrafted and almost 100 years old. <laughs> if anyone can tell me in the comments what, that, what film that is from, then I applaud you. Next up, I've got a few pieces from H&M Home, starting off with a couple of mugs. So let me show you these ones up close as well. They have a really nice rustic detail to them. They've obviously got the worn brown edge and then the kind of speckled grey glaze to them. So I thought they were really cute and the perfect shape for a cappuccino. So we'll be keeping them on the new mug shelf in my kitchen, which you may have seen on Instagram. And I think, again, these were about £6 each. So just got two of them because that's kind of the most we would be having. Also from H&M Home, we needed some more towels. So you may remember a few weeks ago I did a Zara home haul with all pieces from Zara and that included some waffle towels quite similar to this. Um, I saw these in H&M. Just so you can see the waffle there, it's got a really nice texture to it and we've been using our Zara ones for a few weeks and love them. They're better for the environment the way they're made and just feel quite luxurious. And how much were these? They were a fraction of the price basically, so let's see. Oh, I hate when things don't have the price on the label, but I think they were something like eight pounds, seven pounds per towel. So a great dupe for Zara ones, which I think were more like 30, 40 pounds a towel. So a lot higher in terms of price point. And then more just for guests. I wanted to get a couple of fluffy towels. So I got these brown ones. Again, these colors I'm just really feeling at the moment, really earthy, warm, nature inspired. And 
I thought they would look nice just stacked on a new shelf I've added to the bathroom. So yeah, really pleased with those as well. I don't know if anyone has looked at H&M Home recently, but they do have some really, really good pieces. Um, I've actually found as well other brands, so like Dunelm have really good pieces at the moment, but you do just have to really shop around when you're going to those places because there are obviously some less attractive things, shall we say, in there as well. So you need to find the gem. Or, as Jafar would say, you need to find the diamond in the rough. Again, if you know the film, comment it below now. <laughs> ah, there's a piece from, another piece from Zara Home which I just found, which I forgot about. I'm not sure how I'll feel about this one. Um, but I actually wanted to remove, I don't know if you can see, I have some like faux basil over here. But I already have basil on my windowsill which is real, although it's grown so massive. Um, so I was kind of thinking of getting rid of that one, which is from Neptune. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm kind of trying to sell quite a lot of pieces that I had from when I was working there. But I thought this could be quite a cool alternative. Um, so it's actually, it's very weird. It's a faux garlic, like wreath thing but I saw it on Zara's website and it looked really cool how they'd like styled it so I mean it might be something that I send back but it's not supposed to look real I don't think um but it just looked really cool how they had it on their website so just it was only like 10 pounds or something but I just think that looks really cute and I thought I could even save it for like East, um, Easter for Halloween because it kind of looks like little pumpkins um, but they had it hanging on something like this, so kind of like that. Does that look cute? I'm not sure, I think that actually looks really nice. Just like very simple. I don't know, I'll have a think about it, I can send it back if I don't have it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is it really weird just to have like some garlic hanging from there? Like faux garlic? They, I mean they make a nice sound, they're like little bells. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. So, this shirt, can I just say, Mikey shrunk it in the wash, but it's a shirt that I really like. It's from Zara, <laughs> from a while ago, but it just used to fit really nicely and be really comfortable, so I don't want to give it up. So, I mean, I thought I'd be sat down this whole video, but I've outed myself now, haven't I? Guilty. Next up, we've got a few pieces from Cotswold Company. So they actually very kindly sent me these pieces as a gift to um, do a post with over on Instagram. I'm waiting for a new dining room bench from them, which I'm very excited about. And I've got kind of a big project in that room where I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of DIY, which never goes well, but we'll give it a go. Um, but one of the pieces that they sent me was this black vase, which I really like. So I was thinking this would go in the centre of the dining table, but actually now I'm thinking it'll probably need to be bigger. But this might, again, be a really nice piece to put over here. I'm, I'm talking about simplifying things and then I'm saying like, oh, this will look great over here where I've got a million other things already. Um, bear in mind, this is already a stripped back version. So, yeah, really love that though and excited to get that out. They also sent me this really cute lemon squeezer which I chose from their website. It has a really, really nice speckled glaze to it and then a dry, rough finish to the bottom which is unglazed. Um, and I actually needed a new lemon squeezer so I thought that would look nice on the new shelf which is over there, kind of running along the other side of the kitchen. Okay, also from Cotswold Company, but from LSA, are some new glasses for our cupboard for our cupboard. Yeah, we have a quite a big cupboard in our living room, dining room, like the open plan room, which is just over there. <laughs> I will do a full house tour soon as well when we're a bit more together with it. I need to 
get our bedroom up together and then the new study as well and then I promise I'll give you a proper tour of everywhere and how it's looking. I just feel like because of my job nowhere's ever really finished because I'm updating things and I'm always looking at interiors so obviously my style is going to change but I promise I will film something soon. Also, whilst on the subject of filming, would you guys find it useful to kind of see a styling video? Obviously, I'm going to be doing this hopefully today, um, giving it a big sort out. So, I mean, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something like that and kind of my thought process. Because I obviously put videos on Instagram, but I've usually kind of planned how it's going to look in advance or yeah, done some thinking about it. So, could do a bit of a like decluttering kitchen, organising that drinks cabinet, yeah, all of that stuff. Okay, so these glasses are handmade, they're from LSA and they're just really simple highball glasses, a nice shape and I'd say perfect for like a mojito or a nice kind of summery spritzer drink. So there's four of those and then these ones I think are wine glasses, they're more like goblets, yeah. They're really nice. Again, same finish, recycled glass, which we obviously always opt for when we can. Um, and they have this really nice, it's definitely not a flute, but it's kind of like a tampered glass in certain areas. These would also be really cute for like eating mess desserts, which you could obviously make in advance of having people over for dinner. So yeah, really, really happy with those. God, I have got so much stuff everywhere, I need to move some boxes. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to quickly mention was this new bottle of gin that I've been sent. So it's called Oak Cask. Um, I've been speaking to the guy who owns it, who is super, super nice, and I'm going to be making a cocktail with this brand this evening, so we'll give it a go and let you guys know my thoughts over on Instagram and also share the recipe because I'm going to make a gin fizz, I think, with Prosecco, sugar syrup, lemon and gin. <laughs> and they also sent this really cute bag, which I always find these really handy just when you're like popping out into town and going shopping. So yeah, thank you very much to Oakcast for sending that. And any gin lovers, keep an eye on my Instagram because I will share reviews. And I'm actually planning on now making a cocktail every single weekend that you guys can either try at home, save, or if you're having like a party, I'll put them all on my story highlights and there'll be loads of recipes for different cocktails, probably mostly gin based. <laughs> right, so that is going to go ahead and round up today's video, but I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to my channel, please. I'm actually not too far away from a thousand followers, followers, subscribers now on YouTube which feels like a massive, massive accomplishment because I know I've said this before and I think most people would know it, but it's actually really difficult to kind of gain subscribers on YouTube and get momentum, um, which yeah, I really feel like I'm getting into the swing of it now and finding what I enjoy, getting slightly better at editing, although I'm still pretty rubbish. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed filming this and I'm going to get these pieces around the house and we'll show you them in a future vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I'll look forward to catching up with you guys next time. Bye!